Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this gear mechanism in Blender. So, press start. Press A, X and delete. Click on add, mesh, click on gear and master. This is a free add-on. Check out the link in description and make sure that you download the latest version because the previous version works in 2.x. This, this can work in 3.x. So, click on here. Now, Increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. In my case, 20 is fine. Increase the width. In my case, 2 is fine. Select this gear, press tab, press Ctrl R, press enter twice. Go to the face section mode. Select this face. Press E to extrude along Z axis. Now, go to the extraction mode. Select this edge, press S to scale it down. Now what I will do, go to the uh, face selection mode, select this face, press I, press E to scale it down, press S to make it scale. Now go to the edge selection mode, press S to scale it up. Now. I don't want to make hard work and make it below the surface. So what I will do, press 1, select this, press tab, go to the vertex selection mode, make these two modes on, select this, press X, delete vertices, select all of them, press G, Z, minus 1, tab, go here and click on mirror, only along the axis. Click apply. Select this, press tab. Select this, press as set 0. Click on mesh, merge by distance. So, this is how my gear looks like. Now, what I will do uh, before I move forward, select this, press tab. Go to that selection mode, select this. Oh, sorry. By pressing go to select this edge. Similarly, by pressing go to select this edge. Right click, loop tools, bridge. Just in case, if you are not able to see the loop tools in your computer, go to the edit preferences, type loop. So, and make sure to check it. Then you will get the loop tools add-on. It is a free add-on, so you don't have to worry about how much it costs. Right click. Click on shade auto smooth. Now this looks better. Click on add mesh. Click on gear jam master. This time the number of teeth will be 40, but the thickness will be that is width is 2. So this looks fine to me. Select this, press G, Z, minus 1. Press 7. Click on divide icon on your numpad. Select this, press tab. Go to the face selection mode, select the top face, press E to extrude. Now go to the edge selection mode, select this edge as to scale it down. Select this, press I, press E, press S, go to the edge selection mode. Press S to scale it up. Select this tab, press Ctrl R, enter twice. Go to the vertex selection mode, select these two modes. Select this, press X, speed vertices. Uh, the center of origin is here, that is issue. Press tab, go to the object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Click on here, select the mirror and make sure it is along the axis. Apply this. Press tab, press A, mesh, merge by distance. That's good for me. Click on divide icon again to see the all parts or you know object. Select this, press G, X and move it here. Now let's align them. Press R. Set. 
set let's just make sure that there is no issue with teeth last time when i try to make it there is some unwanted issue with teeth and i don't like that oh and one more thing let's fill this space alt shift Orange. So yeah, I'm just going to pick it up quickly. Uh, it's like this. Press Alt Shift uh, for the bottom. Press Alt Shift. Right click. Go to Bridge. Now this one is now now this one is look oops shade auto smooth. Now what I will do I will set this gear before I move forward click on 3D cursor. Now press Shift D R set for 20. Press Shift R to repeat the step. Go ahead click on individual regions. Select this gear. Press R to make it align properly. Looks good to me. Select this, press R and align it. Now, what you have to do is like this press Ctrl A, apply rotation. Repeat this step. Now, how can I do the animation? That is another thing. So, some people might try to think that I will use constraint, but I will not use constraints because they are garbage. Plus, my personal opinions, there are very less cases where I use constraints and here I will use something called drivers so what I will do I will select this gear go here now let's see that make sure that rotation is zero for all the gears if it is not press ctrl a and apply rotation if the rotation is not zero your driver will not work accurately or you will not get the right animation that you want so select this, right click, add drivers, go here, drivers, select the gear, basically on which you want to apply the driver, where I am applying the driver, Z axis, click on driver here, from where I am taking the input, this one, what I am taking, that rotation, so what's the value, x uh, minus 20 by 40, okay. For those who are wondering where this value comes from, I highly recommend check out my course on Udemy if you want to learn about it because they're maths and it will take a long time if I try to explain here. So select this here, right click, copy drivers, select this, control V, my bad, select this, right click, copy drivers, select this, right paste driver. Right click paste driver. Select this. If I rotate, you can see I am getting the cool animation. Go here, click on timeline. Select this gear, press I rotation. Let's go to the 120 and okay. First, go here. Make sure it is 0 degree as well. Now go to the 120 and type the value of 360 degree. Make it keyframe. So if I click on play, it is working, but you know, uh, it is currently spline one. So select these keyframes. Uh, if you select this keyframe, press T, make it linear. Let's make it the uh, 120 here as well. If I click on play, you can see the gear animation. Looks good. Now let's add some coloring. So it's like this. New. Metallic. Decrease the roughness. Select this.
give it a name metal select this and select the metal now how can i render this one so there are plenty of ways let's look the v number one click on here environment texture open downloads and i will type hdri open image uh, make sure color management it is standard for better quality so this is how it look like in ev go to the film make sure it is transparent go to the compositing i have to add a camera first add uh, camera doesn't matter where it is, it is. Uh, just click on view align view align active camera to view press n view select these two options now with your mouse and drag it you can select where you want to press n again right click render image so this is how to flex now what i will do i will go to the composting click on use notes go to the add color alpha hour make it to a second so what is advantage is if i click for render image there is a white background and that is basically what i want also if you notice that this thing is showing up i don't like it shade auto smooth shade auto smooth so if i click on render image that's look better uh, if you want the better quality animation i recommend use cycles but it takes a you know quite heavy on my pc as well yeah by the way you can do just render as per your own okay my main aim is just to teach you how to make it so that's for all if you guys ha have anything or any doubts feel free to ask and you can check out my course link in description if you want to learn how to do gear animation how does this value how i find gear, gear issue etc 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 so thanks for watching and have a great day Namaste.